getting past your avoidance reaction and going into the pure sensations that lie below, you will find that there are two things present. The first is a simple sensation of pain itself. And the second is your resistance to that sensation, which involves the story you tell yourself about the pain and the opinion you hold about it. When you get beyond your avoidance reaction and go into the pure sensations that lie below, you will discover that there are two things present. Having a resistive response often entails tensing the muscles in and around the painful place. Relax those muscles by taking them one at a time and relaxing each one properly. Just doing this step will probably make the pain a little less intense. Now you should focus on the mental aspect of the resistance. In the same way that you are tightening your muscles physically, your mind is tightening as well, and you're putting a mental clamp on the pain feeling. Frequently, making an effort to filter enough information to avoid it, push it away, or reject it from awareness. This rejection is a wordless, I don't like the sensation of going away attitude. Although it is extremely subtle, you may detect it if you truly seek for it, identify it, and relax it. This resistance, which Rosemary describes as a barrier that you yourself erect, a gap, a sense of distance between self and others, the borderline between me and the pain dissolves that barrier, and the separation disappears as you slow down into that sea of surging sensation and you merge with the pain. Rosemary calls this phenomenon resistance, you internalize the suffering, you see its ups and downs, and a strange thing takes place as a result. It no longer aches and the suffering has ended, but the agony itself continues to exist as an experience, a sense, and just energy. The version of myself that was being wounded no longer exists. The end outcome is a complete and total relief from the discomfort. Now, let's try something else. Our minds are capable of integrating several experiences into our conscious consciousness at the same time. Just as we were holding our attention on the experience of breath and painful sensations in our body, we're also able to incorporate pleasant experiences into the unpleasant when feeling pain. And you can't imagine breathing in an anesthetic mist into the area of discomfort or visualize rubbing cooling balm on your aching joints, or picture a warm, soothing light on an area of pain or tension as you come to the end of this practice. Take a full, deep breath, taking in all the energy from this practice, and exhale fully when you're ready. Open your eyes and return the attention to the room as you become fully alert. Consider setting an intention that this practice of building awareness will enhance your sense of well-being and benefit everyone you come in contact with today. As this sacred journey draws to a close, remember that the wellspring of tranquility you've tapped into is always within reach. The moments you've spent in deep meditation, the relief you've found from the shackles of pain, and the peaceful slumber you've embraced are not fleeting instances, but rather a testament to your inherent ability to nurture your own well-being. May the echoes of your respite stay with you, guiding your steps toward a life infused with balance and serenity. Carry forth this newfound light, sharing it with others and radiating positivity into the world. Until we meet again on the shores of respite, Remember that the power to heal and find solace resides within you.